Hey everybody, just wanted to introduce myself. I'm Don Gilman from Dassel, Minnesota. I'm a mom to five kids. I've got an awesome husband for 25 years. We own a business in Dassel called Portadoc. It's a manufacturing company. And we are in some unprecedented times right now. And Mike was kind enough just to ask me to share a little bit about my experience and offer some strength and hope for you all. So we are also um, in the lake industry, so a seasonal industry, and had to halt some things at work with what was happening with our nation and this global pandemic. And I just wanted to let you know along the way what has given me some hope and encouragement through all this. So I don't watch the news very often and I stay current with things that I feel are a value. But one thing that I found that is, has brought me peace and comfort during this time is by not watching the news. That's just one, one little tip I have for you. I believe that we will get what we need to get and, and we can look things up if we need to know statistics or where things are at but I've been a little concerned about the information that's been given to us that things have been skewed a bit. And so I've chose just to have my time used other ways during the day. So I'd encourage you um, if you're in a family and your family's depending upon you to make the money and how are your accounts gonna go and how are things gonna be, you know, how is it gonna all pan out? They're big, big questions to be asking yourselves and one another. And there's a lot of probably sleepless nights people are having right now, as well as um, just anxiety, stress, and some fear. And so I just wanted to let you know that um, God has been one of the sources of my, my peace. And uh, it's not practicing a religion. It's just having a relationship with myself and and my higher power has been really great. One thing that we've done for our family is had a lot of more game times. Like, so we've played a lot more games. We've had conversations and laughing about memories and um, things like that. But I've also gotten a hold of my farmer friends. And so you're around them all the time. And I would just encourage you to touch base with these awesome farmers. And people that do road maintenance is another thing I was thinking about because I've got a couple of relatives that do maintenance who spring, summer, and fall. And the ones that do road maintenance, it's all winter long. They're watching the weather. They're, everything's determined around the weather. And I was thinking about some of my buddies this last year who didn't even get to get their crops out, fully get their crops out because the snow came and just the financial devastation that some of these things, how they can impact your family, not only this year, but just in years to come. And uh, so I did, I talked to one of my farmer buddies and he, you know, did have some grief or worry or concern just for the safety of his children or, and once he realized that his children are in a really good health um, state and they're not compromised immune system, you know, that gave him more peace once we knew more about the virus. Uh, but he said, you know, honestly, like it's going to go just like there'll be, there'll be ups and downs in farming. There's good and bad years. And this is a big deal. But right now, um, he's like, I get to hang out with my family more. I get to see my kids. He got to, because of the crops not all being, being able to take it out last year, he said, I got to see football games that I would have never seen, um, because I'd be in the field. And so Right now, if there's ways that you can just jot down just some things that you're grateful for and things that are working in your life and going well and how you could go home and encourage your wife or you could go home and encourage someone else or your coworker, you could encourage them or when you're making your rounds and talking to people uh, and they start talking about this, you could, you know, show them a smile, show them some, show them some, um, love by, you know, if they're going on and on about maybe a different view you have politically, even to let them share their experience and choose not to argue with them. That's what I've been right now challenged with is just when you share, when I'm sharing my truth in love, 
Uh, not everybody's going to receive it that way. And and I am recognizing that there's there's some healthy boundaries that I'm going to have around some relationships now. And I'm grateful. I got to practice more things now in the last month than I have, you know, in the last year. So I would just encourage you to, if you've got kids and they're home with your wife and they're doing the distance learning, if there's any way that you can just, um, you know, pitch in and help. <laughs> I mean, literally, it will help you out in more ways than one. And I and I do. I just encourage um, wives and husbands and partners are, you know, when you're with people that you love right now, the more closeness, the more intimacy you can have, the more conversations, the more um, kindness that you can express towards one another, it's going to just take your it's just going to take your worries and it's just going to bring them down. Literally human touch, hugging. I mean, I know that we can't be hugging everybody and doing all these things right now, but in your immediate family, love on them. Just love on them. And, uh, and if you are single and you're going home to an empty house, I'd encourage you to start looking. There's so many great um, groups that you can be a part of and you can message me or Michael give you some information to get a hold of me. There's groups that you can be a part of if you're a female or a male or, you know, there's groups that are all across the globe, across the nation, or across your area, meetings that people do on Zoom. And it's just exploding the way that people connect. And so you don't need to be isolated. And the stay at home piece right now um, is a time for us to reflect and start looking inward. And I believe like, where is your heart? Like, where are you at with yourself, with God, with, um, with things that you might need to clear up in your life that right now are just bubbling up to the surface because things don't feel in control at all. So just know that you are um, here for a reason and that there will be brighter days ahead and that day can be today. That day can be right now in the midst of this crazy time. And uh, and there will be just abundance coming. So gather around. And when you do talk to your buddies at work and you're out there in the field and you're out working with people, just be be available. Be available for yourself. Be available for them. And and God bless to all the people staying home with these kids, helping support them in their education and their future, and know that uh, that we can rise up. We can all rise up through this, and we can we can uh, link arms and and just be available for one another. So bless you. Thanks so much. Take care.